how do you blend the support, the navigation, the academic skills, and the exposure to work in a pathway that's going to help youngsters move from off, you know, the situation of being disconnected to really being prepared at a level that they could succeed in the labor market. My brother was never, he wasn't always home, so I had nobody else to like help me stand up on my own. I'm the type of kid who's like, have a doubt, I doubt myself a lot. So it's like once I don't have somebody in my background to help me out, it's like, well, if you're not showing me that you're helping me or you want me to, to succeed, then I'm not going to try for myself. This issue is not just about one kid, one kid's ability to get a job or not. It's about the broader society and the really responsibility that we have as a society to make sure that our kids are prepared as they can be for the future. We all struggle the same every day. We get up and we try to do everything we can to be the best people we can. realized how great of a program Youthville really was, it led me to change my life entirely. Everything I, everything I did and the way I was thinking, just the old ways and everything just changed completely. Now I have stable housing, I have my family back in my life, and I'm employed here at Youthville. school dropout. I dropped out of 11th grade because I was pregnant. Um, I came here, I was unemployed. The program offers employment and it offers referring you to get back into school, lead you into the right path. I was, I wouldn't have done it without the S program because there's no other school that would take me. So. It was like, they all my, they was like my last lifeline. Europe was just more, more than just a, a program that, um, that educated me and, and, and that, um, that helped me get into a good internship or a good job. Like they did more, more to me than that. Like they helped me like personally with like, my life. Johns Hopkins has hired many of these youth and they're very uh, specifically on a career track towards excelling in the information technology department. We're able to have the man, extra manpower here that we need by having these interns here and we can basically train them to be the model employees that we would like them to be. We need to work together to develop a national strategy, set some bold goals, align funding, and make funding flexible so we're not just following youth through a particular system, but really helping them advance through the ups and downs on a trajectory to be successful. Yeah, I love to get up and put my suit on to come to work and you know be around professionals that I aspire to be one day. So it's a great experience. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Travis has been a great intern. He uh, shows up to work on time. He's always, always um, dressed professionally and always exudes that positive um, professionalism to all our customers and to all our staff. When I got here, I fell in love with the job. As far as um, a dream job, I, I guess I'm, I'm living the dream right now. <laughs>